Welcome yogis, my name is Benny and this is a mandala flow that will generate heat in your body so it's perfect for autumn, winter time, it's an intermediate flow but you can slow it down and it could even be used by beginners. So let's begin on our back and you can place your hands onto your belly, perhaps close your eyes for these first few breaths. Feeling the belly expand with each breath in and the abdominal muscles contract and pull away from your hand with each breath out. Start to connect with your breath using your ujjayi breath to begin creating heat in the body. As you inhale, reach the arms up and just windshield wipe the knees from side to side a few times, just beginning to get into your body. So this is a flow that I shared on Halloween day in class with my students and it's perfect for this time of the year. The intention that we set was letting go of one thing that we don't need to bring with us into the new season and what can we take with us into this winter. So perhaps that could be your intention as well. So let's begin now by crossing the right ankle over the left, trying to bring the right ankle behind the left shin if you can, right knee over the left in eagle legs, and then you can bring the right arm underneath the left and either give yourself a hug like this, or go into eagle arms, actually connecting the palms of the hands together. So we'll start with a little bit of core exercises to warm the body up. So as you inhale, take the arms above the head and the toes towards the ground. And as you exhale, crunch it in, bring the right knee to the right elbow. Breathe in to open. Exhale, bring it in. And again, open. Bring it in. Last time, and as you exhale this time, hold it and imagine you're squeezing an orange between the right elbow and the right knee. Really focusing on pulling the belly in. It's getting hard to speak in this position, so just take one more breath. And then open the arms wide and take your knees towards the left for a little supine twist, maybe gazing towards the right hand. Take a full breath in here and out of the mouth. Bring your knees back to center, now we'll go on to the other side. So left knee over the right, and left elbow underneath the right, hands clasping, or giving yourself a hug. Let's get ready to crunch here, inhale, open. Exhale, left knee, left elbow together. Inhale, slowly opening, control movements. Exhale, squeeze it in. One more time, inhale, exhale, crunch it in, inhale, exhale, this time we're going to hold it here for three, for two, and one, open the arms wide, release the head, and drop your knees towards the right this time for a supine twist. If you prefer to go for another twist, say knees stacked on top of each other, you can, but if you want to keep the eagle legs, you might get a bit of a stronger sensation. And now bring the legs back to center, hands behind your thighs, begin to rock backwards and forwards along the length of your spine until you come up into a seat. Hands onto your knees, feet wide. Let's go for some seated cat and cows. So as you inhale, open the chest. Exhale, lean back, shoulder blades separate, chin comes to chest. Breathe in, open front body. And breathe out, open the back body. One more time. Breathe out, lean back, engage the core. 
straighten your spine, reach the arms forward, maybe feet just hover off the ground or the shins come parallel to the floor for boat pose. Another option is to also straighten the legs and hold here for three. Starting to feel that heat in the body for two. And one. Cross the ankles and roll over onto hands and knees. Spread your fingers wide, knees underneath the hips. And hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale to open. A few cat and cows here. Exhale, round, press the ground away from you. Breathe in nice and open, tilt the sit bones up. Exhale, round. One more time, full breath in. And slow breath out. Tuck the toes under, inhale to open front body. Exhale, round, lift the knees just to hover off the floor. Hold for three, two, and one. And now straighten your legs, coming all the way into plank. If plank is too much for you at this stage, you can bring the knees off the on the ground and be in the knee variation of plank. Press the ground away from you, spread the fingers wide. Shift the way forward, inhale. And exhale, tip the sit bones up, downward dog. Inhale, slowly come forward into a plank. Exhale, bend your knees and bring the hips back up. Fluid motions here, breathing in, coming forward. Breathing out, take it back. One more time. And take it back to downward dog. Hold downward dog for a moment. And we'll begin with our flow now. We'll hold the poses first and then we'll flow through it all together. So take the right leg up as you inhale. And as you exhale, right knee to nose shifting forward. Again, right leg goes up. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, right leg goes up again. Exhale, right knee to nose. This time, create space. Step the right foot between the hands. Drop the back foot to a 45 degree angle. Reach the arms up, warrior one. Take a moment in this warrior one. Lower ribs drawing under and tailbone lengthening down. Inhale here, exhale, pivot around, coming into a goddess pose, heels in, toes out, arms can be like a cactus here, sinking the hips down, inhale, stretch the legs to straight, reach the arms up, exhale, point the toes slightly in towards each other, feet parallel, and fold over your legs for a wide leg forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold again. Again, lift as you inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up again. And as you exhale, bring the hands around the left foot. Point the left toes towards the back of the mat. Left hand either onto left ankle or inside of the left foot. Reach the right arm up towards the ceiling for triangle pose. And maybe gaze up. Try to keep your body nice and flat, feeling the right side body stretch here and open. Inhale, right arm overhead. Exhale, right hand down, pivot onto the right toes, bend the left knee. Keep the back leg energized, left arm goes up towards the ceiling. Twisted lunge. Strong through your legs here. Pivot onto the outer edges of the feet now. Option one is just to bring the left foot towards the middle of the mat for this variation of side plank. Or bring the left foot all the way on top of the right for full side plank. Two more breaths here. And now bring that left knee up, inhale. 
push the ground away from you with the right hand. Exhale, left foot comes towards the front of the mat again. Hands on either side of the left foot and bring the right leg up towards the ceiling for standing splits. Hold it here. The other option here is to bring maybe the left hand around the left ankle, perhaps both hands, and challenge your balance. Bring the fingertips down again, inhale, lift halfway. Square your hips. Exhale, right knee to chest. Power onto the left leg and reach the arms up, right knee comes in towards the chest. Then soften the left leg, right knee over left, coming into eagle legs and maybe eagle arms. Clasping all the way or simply giving yourself a hug. Sitting back here. Last breath. Inhale, open the arms wide like a cactus, right knee comes into the chest and exhale, sit down into a chair pose. Big inhale here and exhale. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, slowly lower down using your hands or not, try not to use them. If your knees are not happy with this, make sure you do use your hands. Plonk the bum down, reach the legs forward, boat pose. Inhale here. Exhale, low boat pose. Inhale. Exhale, throw your legs behind your head. A little bit of momentum to plant the feet down, maybe, and step the feet back into a plank. If that didn't quite work for you, you can just come up with crossed ankles and then come into a plank. Shift the weight forward. Exhale, Chaturanga, of your choice. You can bring the knees down if you want to. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full inhale and a full exhale. Right side again to bring us round the front of the mat. Inhale, reach the right leg high. Exhale, right knee to nose. Breathe in, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the right foot through. Left foot to 45. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, sink into this warrior one. And take another inhale here. Exhale, open into goddess. Sink down. One breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale, stretch the legs to straight arms, reach up, point the toes towards each other. Exhale, fold over your legs, wide leg forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold again. This time, just stay here for one breath. Inhale, lift halfway again. Bring the hands around the left foot, left toes point towards the front, left hand down, right arm up for triangle pose. If you can't be all the way down here, that's fine. Just bring yourself up a little bit more. Maybe gaze up. Circle the right arm overhead. Take the right hand down, come onto the right toes, bending the left knee and reach the left arm up towards the ceiling. Twisted lunge. Option here to roll onto the outer edges of the feet and stay here, or step the left foot on top of the right for side plank. Hold. Bring the left knee high, and step the left foot next to the right hand, framing the left foot with both hands. Breathe in, look forward. Exhale, spring up into half splits. Don't worry about how high your leg goes. And then inhale, bring your chest to parallel with the ground, square through the hips. Exhale, right knee to nose, come up to standing. Allow the wobble to happen. Soften the left knee, cross right ankle, right knee rather over left knee. 
and ego your arms if possible. One inhale and a full exhale. Inhale, open the arms wide, right knee to chest. Exhale, sink into a chair pose. Breathe in here and breathe out. Then lift the heels as you inhale. Exhale, sink your hips all the way down. Boat pose, breath in. Lower boat pose, breath out. Inhale, throw the legs behind your head. Exhale, use the momentum to take you through your vinyasa. Take your time. This might take a few goes before you get it. We'll meet in Downward Dog. Left side, when you're ready, take the left leg up. Exhale, left knee to nose, shifting forward. Breath in, left leg up. Exhale, shift it forward. One more time, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to nose. This time, step it through. Right foot to 45. Rise up. Warrior one on the left. We're taking three breaths the first time round. I'm getting tangled with my necklace. Soften the left knee a little more. And then transition to goddess. This time bring the hands open to your knees. Toes out, heels in. Inhale. Exhale, twist towards the right, dipping the left shoulder towards the midline. Breathe in back to centre. Exhale, dip the shoulder towards the midline, look towards the left. Back to centre, inhale. Exhale, straighten your legs, hands to heart, bring the feet parallel to each other. Breathe in, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold again. Breathe in to lift. Exhale to fold. One more time. And fold. Pulling the right toes towards the back of the mat. Right hand inside of the right foot or onto the ankle. Reach the left arm up. Triangle pose. Inhale. Exhale, push your hips forward, squeezing the glutes, maintaining the alignment here. Reach the left arm overhead. Exhale, left hand down, pivot onto the left toes and reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. Twisted high lunge. Strong through both legs here. Now pivot onto the outer edges of the feet. Option one to stay here, maybe with right foot planted down to help you keep the support. Or stack the right foot on top of the left and press the ground away from you with the left hand for side, modified side plank, or full side plank rather. Take that right knee high now. And gracefully try and step it close to the left hand. Right fingers come down, spring up into standing splits. Right leg comes towards straight, left leg reaches up towards the ceiling. Maybe challenge your balance by bringing one or both hands around the right ankle. Bring the fingertips back down, inhale. Chest parallel to the ground, hips square. Exhale, left knee to nose. Rise up to standing. And let's go into eagle, left knee over right. Eagle arms, or simply give yourself a hug. Sink a little bit deeper here. Last breath. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, chair pose, sitting down. Inhale, come up onto the tippy toes. Exhale, sink down onto your bum. Reach the legs forward. One breath in. 
Breath out into low boat pose. Inhale, maybe legs over the head. Exhale, move through your vinyasa. See if you can jump straight into chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll bring ourselves back to the front of the mat with the left side, inhale. Left leg goes up. Exhale, left knee to nose, shifting forward. Breath in, left leg goes up. Exhale, left knee to nose. One more time. Knee to nose. Round the upper back. Step the left foot through. Right foot to 45. Unless you prefer a high lunge and you want to stay on the toes. Reach the arms up. Warrior one. Inhale. Exhale. Shift into goddess. Sink your hips down, cactus the arms. And then inhale, stretch the legs to straight, arms up. Exhale, feet to parallel to each other, forward fold. Just one inhale to lift halfway here. Exhale, right toes towards the front of the mat, right hand either onto the ankle or inside of the right foot. Left arm up towards the ceiling, triangle pose. Reach the left arm overhead. Exhale, left hand down, pivot onto the left toes, bend right knee, reach right arm up towards the ceiling, twisted lunge. Roll onto the outer edges of your feet. Supported side plank or side plank. Press the hips forward. Nice and strong through the bottom arm. And then bring the right knee up. Exhale, step right foot next to left hand. Frame the right foot and reach the left leg high towards the ceiling for standing splits. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, left knee to nose. Rise up to standing, arms reach up. Bend right knee, cross left knee over right. And once again, into this eagle pose, one full breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale, reach the arms wide, left knee to chest. Exhale into chair pose. Inhale, lift the heels. Woo, exhale, down onto your bum. Reach the legs forward, boat pose. That looked as if I planned it, but I didn't. And then lower down onto your lower back. Inhale. Exhale, use momentum to take you all the way through your vinyasa. Into downward facing dog. From downward dog, lift the heels, bend the knees and you can either step or hop your feet to the outside of the hands for a little squat which you can keep moving like this or if you rather have some stillness you can also just stay in stillness we're trying to shift a lot of energy in the body so if it feels good to move carry on moving one last breath and then press down into the feet inhale reach the arms up pulling the toes forward exhale hands to heart so we'll repeat our mandala flow one more time. I might slightly modify things. It's just to keep you on your toes. So we'll lower back down now. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hips back, forward fold. Half a lift, inhale. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or jump your feet back into plank. Shift forward, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale. Upward dog or cobra, your back bend of choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's go with the right leg up as you inhale. Exhale, right knee to nose. 
Step the right foot between the hands. Lower back foot to 45. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale into goddess. Inhale, stretch the legs to straight feet parallel to each other. Exhale, straight away into warrior, um, triangle pose rather. Left hand to left foot, left toes towards the back of your mat. So we're skipping the wide leg forward fold. Inhale, gaze up with the right hand. Exhale, circle that right hand down next to the left foot as you pivot onto the right toes. There's a lot of feet pivoting, so if you get confused, don't worry. It's normal. Reach the left arm up towards the ceiling, twisted lunge. Exhale, option to come all the way into side plank. Inhale, maybe lift that left leg up. Exhale, bend the knee. Step the left foot next to the right again, the right hand. Frame the left foot. Inhale. Exhale, shift forward, standing splits. Breathe in, bring, bring your chest to parallel with the ground. Exhale, right knee to nose and rise up to standing, right knee to chest. This time, right leg straightens. Big breath in. Exhale, transition slowly into warrior three. Arms reaching forward or hands to heart, whatever you prefer. One breath here. Exhale, bend the left knee, step the right toes at the back of the mat. High lunge, big inhale. Exhale, hands down, step the feet back into plank and move through your vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Right leg reaches up again. Exhale, right knee to nose. Step it through. Back foot to 45. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, goddess towards the side. Heels in, toes out. Inhale, reach the arms up. Feet to parallel to each other. Exhale, left toes towards the front of the mat. As you hinge at the left hip, left hand comes down, right arm up, triangle pose. Inhale, gaze at the right hand. Exhale, right hand down. Pivot into a twisted lunge. Left arm up towards the ceiling, left leg is bent. Inhale here. Exhale, transition to side plank. Or maybe wild thing for this round. Opening the chest, big inhale. Exhale, gather the strength of your core to reach the left knee high and then step the left foot at the front of the mat. Frame the left foot and transition to standing splits. Inhale, square your hips. Exhale, right knee to chest as you rise up to standing, arms go up. Kick the right leg forward, straightening. And then exhale, warrior three, hands to heart. Inhale. Exhale, bend the left knee, right foot down, arms up, big breath in. Exhale, hands down from high lunge into plank and through your vinyasa. Chaturanga, lower down. Inhale to open into your back bend. Exhale, pull the belly in, back to downward facing dog. Take a full inhale and a full exhale out of the mouth. Reach the left leg high, inhale, we're going on to the other side now. Exhale, left knee to nose, step it through. Right foot to 45, warrior one on the left side. Slow inhale as we rise up. Exhale, goddess towards the side of the room, bend the knees. Inhale, reach the arms up, straighten the legs. Exhale, right toes towards the back of the mat, left foot to 90. Triangle pose. Look up, inhale. Exhale, left hand down, pivot onto the left toes, reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. Breathe in here. And breathe out to shift into side plank if you want to. Take the right knee high, right leg high, and step that right foot at the, next to the left hand at the back of the mat again. Framing right foot with your hands. 
and then shifting into standing splits. Full inhale. Exhale. Bring the left knee to the chest. Rise up. Arms reaching up. Whoops, I'm losing my balance. Kick the left heel forward. And then transition to warrior three. Arms reaching forward or hands to heart. Slowly transition into high lunge. Place the left toes at the back of the mat. Right knees bent. Inhale. Exhale, hands down. Step back and move through your vinyasa. Into downward dog. Last one. Left leg up. Inhale. Exhale. Left foot through. Inhale. Warrior one on the left. Exhale, goddess towards the side of the mat. Sink down. Inhale, stretch your legs to straight. Align the feet for, tree, uh, for triangle pose. Exhale, right hand down, left arm up for triangle pose. Breathe in. Exhale, left hand down, left heel up, right arm up. Twisted lunge. Full inhale. Exhale, into side plank or wild thing, reaching the hips up. And then as best as you can, step right foot next to the left hand, frame the right foot with your hands and shift the weight forward into standing splits. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, left knee to nose, rise up to standing. Exhale, left leg straightens forward. Inhale, transition into warrior three. Hands forward or hands to heart. Exhale, bend right knee, left toes at the back of the mat, high lunge. And then take the hands down, frame the right foot, step the feet back into plank and move through your vinyasa. Into downward facing dog. Take a full inhale here. And exhale it out. Lift the heels, bend the knees, step or jump your feet to Malasana squat. If you want to go for another round or two, you can carry on with this if you remember the sequence or you can make it up in your own head. Um, or you can actually go back, rewind the video to do the same sequence again. To finish off, you've got the option here to stay into this Malasana. Or perhaps place the hands down and you can try a little crow pose. So make sure your fingers are spread while you're clawing the mat with your fingertips. So you've got like cat hands. The elbows go at the back of the knees. The other way. <laughs> or the knees at the back of the armpits. And we're going to shift forward and maybe lift the heels. And see if you can from here, if you've got crow pose, shoot back into Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And then lower the knees down for child's pose. Allow yourself to melt onto the mat. Letting go now of all the effort in your body. And feeling how your body feels after all that movement. Feel free to stay here. Or maybe come all the way onto your back for Shavasana. Feet wide, arms by your side. Take a full inhale. All the way to the top, hold. Exhale, release it out. Stay here just for a few moments to let your body absorb the benefit of the practice.
You can just let the video run for a little bit longer here. And enjoy your Shavasana. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.